Alrighty guys and welcome back and we're going to be sporting it on Legion with another new build that I'd love to test out and see how it goes. Now we can just see one player moving then. I didn't know if they double backed. I'm not 100% sure. Looks like we got running on my right or moving on my right. Let's come right in. She has sprint burst but that's okay. So do I. Let's take that nice M1 in the back and a pallet. Never mind. We're not going to get both. We're going to take that M1. She might be able to make this before I can do anything about it. Um, yes, yeah, she will. It's unfortunate. No, she won't. It's very awesome that I got that. Let's come right downstairs and get as much pressure out with this shit as I can. Take a hit on him. That's 5% movement speed as well. I'm going to take the 5% movement speed and I'm going to use it on the Feng Min. That was an incredible dead heart. I almost don't believe it. And down she goes. Alright, we don't have Surge, we don't have Ruin. We know the other guy was sticking on the gen as well. I got mass pressure out with my ability right then. And it's only tier 2, my Undying as well, which is nice. Let's go get pressure on the other guy. The issue here is I don't have Surveillance, but that's okay. Somebody running over there. Alright, we got a little bit of info provided. Looks like these gens are fine. I am going to miss Surge a little bit. We can see scratches in between the pallet. Waiting in the basement? Oh goodness, cutie, this is not where you want to be. We're gonna take him out. Let's pick him up. Let's hook him down here as well. This works really well. Now, unfortunately, he mispositioned himself. We're gonna get that hook. I didn't think I was chasing Adam. That's two hooks. I can't tell what gens are on, unfortunately, because I don't have surveillance in the build. But the build is built to last, believe it or not, based on the fact I have undying. Here, crying. Force them off a gen, that's good. Come through, take this. Take this too. If she camps the pallet, she didn't. That'd be ideal. I know the other one's going in for the save, which is nice. I might be able to come back in time. I can't make it back in time. Scratch is here. They really, really wanted to complete this gen, didn't they? Alright, this is our Feng Min who has Dead Hard. We know that from before. That's not who I'm thinking I'm chasing, but that's okay. We do have a pallet available here too. A stun would be ideal. Unfortunately, it looks like she's looking for something else. She might have dead hard as well based on her movement alone. And she's going to try and dead hard in a straight line for this. Yep. That's exactly what she did. Going to take Feng Min out. She has to dead hard bait. I think she got stuck off her dead hard bait. There's our 5% movement speed as well. Let's pick this one up, and then let's look at hooking him somewhere. I had a feeling someone would come back in for the to uh, generator, because people are really greedy. And I got a really good map roll, so this is phenomenal. I'm walking with 120% movement speed rather than 115, because a nemesis play with your food. It allows anyone who stuns me to become my obsession as well. So let's go right back down. Check out our generator again. Looks like we're good for now. We're going to regress this. I can also use my ability to get around the board at a quicker rate right now. I just have to be mindful of going for the M1s. See if there's anything provided. I just need to beat her to the pallet. She got another one over here, which is fine. Hide my light and moonwalk backwards, see what she does. Keeping in mind, she has sprint burst, so she can't dead hard. I heard somebody yell out then, so we're going to just M1 her in the back. Let's pick her up and take her to the closest hook. This is really good because they're not healing, and my build is going to allow me to excel for situations where they don't heal and they split. Now, even though they destroyed one of my totems, unfortunately, they got the right one. Very good dead hard. The good news is everybody is running dead hard apart from one person right now. I still have ruin for my regression as well. I got multiple hooks out. We're going to come check on this generator all the way down here now. One of the people have healed. That's really good. Think of the time that they're going to be wasting if they're healing by themselves rather than splitting. I've almost got full regression on that generator. We're going to come up through the middle. We're going to check on a couple more things. going to activate my ability nice and early. Going to sidestep here. Let's take an M1 in the back. Let's go all the way through. Now keeping in mind I do get a stack of play with your food. Take an M1 in the back again. Let's cancel my ability. We know she has dead hard, so she's gonna have to make a dead hard play for the pallet. I don't know why she keeps going for the corner. Dead hard. There it is. It's an M1 in the back. And I got the pallet as well. That couldn't have went even smoother if I wanted it to. This is good because we don't have a lot of pressures on gens. The one gen they wanted to agree to be done has been regressed from ruin almost all the way to the start to the finish. You can see you waiting for something again. Another dead hard. That's good because now you're exhausted and I can chase you. And worst case scenario, I lose one gen. The question is, do I want to chase her and let her pallet stun me and let go of chase after I take 5% movement speed and lose one generator for that? There's the M1 in the back. 
Unfortunately, her play did not work out the way she wanted to. Remember, I want to be pallet stunned. There's that one gen that I told you I'd lose. That is fine. It's another hook. Still having Ruin active. Remember, this is the game, and the game is the most killer-sided map in Dead by Daylight. And this just goes to showcase how strong certain killers can be under the right circumstances. Here, crying. I think they're underneath, near these pallets. Hi, guys. He ran to a pallet. That's fine. I don't actually know where she went. I'm pretty sure she stayed, didn't she? That's my 5% movement speed out of her... Well, not 5%, but I got rid of her... Uh, I got rid of her sprint burst. It's fine. We're going to go right over that. Going to just lunge, take a hit in his back. That was a really, really good dead hard. But at the same time, if he saves, he trades. Has to be a really good BT. Sidestep it. Oh, I don't know if she can see me. There you go. She's not paying attention. We're going to take her out. I know you got BT on you, so I have to wait a couple of seconds. Just going to outweigh BT. That should be it. And down she goes as well. Now I have to make a decision of what I want to do. Do I want to pick up the slug or do I want to see if I can find Adam over here to the right? Because we know he originally went in this direction. Any scratch, any blood generator. He jumped on it. Let's get Unbreakable out of the way while we uh, push pressure on Adam. Force him in a really awkward situation. Up the staircase. I can't hear him crying right now. Up it again. Already dropped. That's good. We can cut him off then. He panicked a little bit with that. Let's see how he plays here. There you go. Right into my loving embrace. I know he has dead heart as well. That's good because I'm not going to leave here. I'm going to wait. I'm going to hide my light. I'm going to moonwalk. Right, right into him. And down goes Adam. Because of Nemesis, I can see him through walls when he pallet stuns me. And he wasn't ready for it. I made sure that I was looking the wrong way at the right time. And I was able to punish Adam for it by the fact that he left the jungle gym. He's in a really bad spot as well. And all I had to do was outweigh with stacks to play with your food. So this build actually worked pretty good as Legion. I'm not going to lie to you. I can't really judge it off the fact that I got the most killer sided map in Dead by Daylight. But that being said, I will be trying it a couple of... A couple more games. It was unfortunate the first totem they broke was the totem that I wanted to stay alive, but at the same time, I still kept Ruin up as well. Because with Hex Undying, if they break your other uh, lit totem, it respawns on a different totem. That way you can constantly have Ruin moving around the board multiple times as well. So just keeping that in mind. They got lucky on the first totem they broke. Here you crying in the corner over here. Just gonna cancel that. Let's pick her up and see where we go from here. That actually went really smooth. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this rank one survivor game or killer game, I know there wasn't much to it, but at the same time, make sure you hit that subscribe button to do educational informative Dead by Daylight killer and survivor content five days a week. If you want to tune into the live streams, please make sure you do. Now, just to show you there was no map offering played, I have no add-ons either, and we just got real good RNG on the roll. Anyways, guys, once again, thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more information uh, or more educational informative DVD killer and survivor content. Just going to quickly show you guys that I am currently at rank one with the game as well. It just goes to show that this build works really well when you're using Pervy Food Nemesis, forcing the stunts when you can, let it go and chase when you can as well. You just put survivors in a really awkward situation, especially if they decide that they want to heal. That way you get more pressure out of the board while you got generators being regressed. Anyways, guys, thanks once again, and I'll see you in the fog in the next video. Have a good one.